You know that moment when you watch a trailer for a movie and you have your expectations so low that you're not expecting anything, and yet when you watch the trailer, you think to yourself, "Wow, now I definitely don't want to watch this movie." Well, this happened to me when watching the trailer for the Marvels. Stay with me because I actually want to talk about it. Roll the intro. Remember that if you like the video, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel because it would help me a lot. Having said that, let's get back to the video. So the superhero fatigue, a syndrome that everyone is suffering at this point after so many superhero movies that have been released in such a short period of time. Well, not necessarily short period of time. It's been like 20 years at this point, but again, it's been such a short period of time since the multiverse has actually happened in Marvel and DC, and when franchises collide with each other. And this is not the exception with the Marvels, where they meet three different characters: Carol Danvers, Mrs. Marvel, or Miss Marvel, I don't care, and. Monica Rambeau. I'm gonna get the first and most obvious thing out of the way. I never grew up with any of these heroes. All right, I've never been a fan of them. As a matter of fact, I've never been a fan of the Avengers to begin with. I grew up with four comic books in my life: Spawn, Batman, X-Men, and Spider-Man. All right, let's get that out of the way. But still, I'm always open to see new entries in this franchise to see if I get impressed or not. Because I was never a fan of Iron Man until Robert Downey Jr. played Iron Man in the first Iron Man movie. Damn, I said Iron Man too many times, but you get the idea. But still, I was the kind of guy that not always agreed with the opinion of the audience. I'll give you some examples. Black Panther did not seem like the greatest movie ever made. It was an okay movie. I did not hate Thor: Love and Thunder, as everyone did, nor did I think that he was trash, as everyone proclaimed. And to be honest, there were a couple of movies that I actually enjoyed, while others don't. And hate me for this, but I actually quite enjoyed Morbius. So you can actually see that I do not let myself be influenced by the opinions of others. But when I saw the trailer for the Marvels, I felt. Not only annoyed, but more than disappointed. I felt weird, like saying to myself, "Is this movie even necessary?" I know that after Endgame, they are trying to close the stories for every single franchise until they go into the Kang Wars. That is the project that they are working on, or at least I think they're working on it because of the issues with Jonathan Mayers. We'll see how it goes. But in the case of the Marvels, I saw the trailer and it left me thinking, "Am I?" The only one who hated this trailer. Well, hate is a strong word, but I felt like I didn't want to watch the movie. After all, I already said in a past video that I thought the Captain Marvel was not a boring movie or a bad movie. It was annoying. It was condescending, gaslighting, and everything. So when I watched this trailer, I thought to myself, "Am I the only one who is not only not interested but actually refuses to watch it?" And it's not even the acting. It's not the special effects. I don't even know if it's the plot, but it gave me the vibe of not wanting to watch it. And after watching the massive. This like bar on that trailer、It、left me thinking: What is Marvel doing? Why are they doing these sort of movies nowadays? Of course, it's unfair to judge a movie before watching it. But a trailer is supposed to set your expectations high for what you're going to see. And in this case, it left me not wanting to see the movie. Is it just me? Again, Captain Marvel is not really a character that I want to see often. Partly because of the plot of the first movie, and second because of Brie Larson. Awesome being so well, her basically speaking, but also the trailer looks corny and bad. The timing of the jokes and、uh, again the jokes. There's so many jokes in such a short period of time. Most of them coming from the little girl Kamala, but and I understand she's a kid. She's a fan of Captain Marvel. But can you at least stop with the jokes so much? I already stated this in the video I made about Shazam, which actually distracts you from the movie itself. And this here does not seem like a good idea to begin with. 
with. Right now, we are in a very weird period of superhero movies where I don't think that the studios really know what they want to do. It's like that trailer of Blue Beetle that it's coming up, that it's going to get its own video in the future. But I don't know, I'm not gonna keep talking just to make this video at least 10 minutes long. Let me know what you think, because these are my honest thoughts. I genuinely don't want to see this movie. I have no interest in it, it doesn't look good and the plot doesn't seem entertaining enough for me to actually watch it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Am I wrong? Am I right? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Please let me know. I actually want to hear you. Well, not hear you, but read you. Anyway, this has been Juanin. Thanks for watching.